Hey there YouTube, Super Brain NK here, and yep, it's been a minute. I still don't have my fun package that was spoilered in the last video, but I am preparing for it with this guy. <laughs> a little more. Um, basically, well, if I'm going to have a 1500 watt boost converter, I'm going to need at least a 500 watt power supply. Sam, and unfortunately this is only 12 volts, so that is a 30 amp boost converter, so I would only be able to get whatever 30 times 12 is. Oh, 600 watts? No. Whatever. <laughs> So anyway, I've got a disconnect this first. I've got a Dell what's this? PS two five two one dash one D, which is a twelve volt five hundred and fifty watt or forty four and a half amp power supply. That is from a PowerEdge 1850 switch, or not switch, server. And it's got these for the power, and that's for data and stuff. And luckily, at work, we were obviously getting rid of some servers, so I have those server motherboards, so I pulled off the original connector on the motherboard, so that way I can solder to it without messing up the power supply. So if I I plug it in and explode it, I can always hot swap it for something else. For a different one. So it's easy as plugging it in. And I've got let's get a close up here. Here we go. Close up here. That's the motherboard of the server and then this is my little connector that I've got. I've got 10 gauge wire soldered in between. It's basically this is the positive rail that's the negative rail so it's soldered in between this one and this one which are connected together. I'm gonna have to put something over this probably just more hot snot like I did over here but over here is connecting the power on wire which is um, all the way to the left one down to this resistor over to the switch and then there is Wait a minute. I forget what I did. Oh. Right. This wire goes all the way over to here. Which is the power on. This resistor which comes off that wire goes over to all the way to the right. The first one is the power kill uh, pin and then that switch so the power on and the power kill are connected power kill is connected through resistor that way if I want to make something that can kill it I can so that way it just pulls it high and it won't it won't turn on um, but basically to turn it on you just connect all three of those together to, or those two to ground and then there's a ground right there right next to the power kill but uh, I put a tiny little switch so that I can turn it on and turn it off just like I did that other one where I put those two little fans on the front and with the switch to the switch everything and yeah 
that's going power is going to an XT60 which is going to my XT60 to terminal block which is going to my 10 amp DC load let's test it okie dokie so power supply is plugged into my Tenergy let's switch it on so fan always runs at least on a it's low low speed and it's around 13.4 watts power factor 0.68 and obviously this is reading zero volts out go ahead and flip the switch fan goes on 12 volts comes out and it's drawing about 40 watts 39.1 power factor 0.91 then I've got this guy set to 10 amps which is the most it'll do this can do 44 and a half turn it on oh voltage idle 12.03 and that drops down to 11.96 however that's because this tiny little wire here I uh, actually measure the voltage yeah you can see that set for 20 volts voltage on the actual power supply is 12.076 and if I turn that off, 12.036. So it raises 0.5 volts when it's under load. So, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, this thing. This guy doesn't. can't really handle. This is 120 watts. And you'll see in a second. There, it's 87 degrees Celsius, and now it's only drawing 8.4 amps. But, it's drawing 150 watts from the wall, and it's outputting. 100 watts. Let me do the math on that really quick. So yeah, it's only about 67% uh, efficient, but that's only 100 watts output. At 500 watts, it'd probably be a lot better. And plus, it's got the big fan that it has and whatnot running. So yeah, there we go guys, and I'll upload another video testing that boost converter as soon as it gets here. Anyway, see you guys in the next video.